Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 221 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, the Warrior! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
Counters now left hook to the head lands. Beautiful body kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Able to check that kick as well. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Big kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. 26 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And now he's got that tie clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Good punch. And he oh, comes nice through with a big knee. Defense, defense, defense. That was a throw! Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He will finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. It's okay, come on. Let's recompose. Let's get going now. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, McGregor's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Unable to land with that punch. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware. You're oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Check the high kick. Single collar tie now. Back and forth we go! What a fight so far! All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the roof. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by McGregor. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good stick. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. McGregor going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Whoa! He's out! Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Warrior. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.